Okay, I'm going my next lecture on cloud series. Uh, the topic is EMR. So EMR is nothing but Amazon MapReduce. So Amazon uh, is a managed cluster platform that simplify running big data framework. So big data framework run on AWS is EMR. Such as Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark uh, on AWS to process data, analyze vast amount of data. By using these frameworks and related open source projects such as Apache Pig, Apache Spark, you can process data for anal analytics purpose and business intelligence for clothes. Additionally, you can also use an EMR to transfer and move large amount of data into the out of data plus data so store, store, uh, stores and database such as S3 and uh, DynamoDB. So transfer move large amount of data into not out of AWS into the storage. Okay. So this is if you are first uh, about EMR, then you can also learn about uh, some of the AWS document which is here. The link I have given in my Medium channels and this Medium channels document I'm going to post on my YouTube. And so this section we are going to cover it overview of EMR benefit using Amazon EMR overview of EMR architecture. So the understanding of cluster nodes, the main component of EMR is the cluster, you know. So cluster as you know, if you don't know also a cluster is a collection of Amazon Elastic component, compute cloud. So cluster is Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2, it's a collection of EC2, it's like collection of nodes. So each instance in the cluster called a node. Each node has a role within the cluster refer as a node type. Amazon EMR also installed a different software component each node type, giving each node a role in a distributed application like Apache Hadoop. It's similar to Apache. So it has a master node, it has a core node, it has task node. So three node types. Let's talk about all these three. So master node is a kind of master or is in a team, is a team lead, is node that managing cluster by running software component to coordinate the distribution data and task among other nodes. Collectively refer as a slaves processing the master node track the status of task and monitor the health of cluster. Then core node, a slave node with the software component that run task and store data into Hadoop distributed system which is called SDFS file system in your cluster. Task node, a slave node with a software component that only run task and task node and optional. So task node is optional, the core node and master node is compulsory. So this is master node, this is slave node, this is slave node, this is slave node, slave nodes. Low diagram represent the master nodes and the four slave nodes. Submitting work uh, to the cluster it is similar to Hadoop. If you know about Hadoop, when you run the cluster on Amazon EMR, you have several options as how you specify work that need to be done. Create long running cluster and use the Amazon EMR console that Amazon EMR API and AWS CLI submit uh, step, which is contain one and more Hadoop jobs and more information. You can use this uh, document. Provide entire definition to work is done by map and reduce function is typically done by cluster that is process set of amount data then terminate when the process is complete. It's like submitting jobs and then running map reduce program and yeah. So this is the how uh, uh, is uh, submitting workload and uh, processing data. When you launch your cluster, you choose the frameworks and application to install your data processing needs. By submitting jobs and queries directly to application, there are install your cluster by running the step on cluster. Submitting jobs directly to application, you can also submit job uh, interact directly with the software that install on a EMR EMR cluster. To do this, you typically connect a master node over the secure connection and access the interface and the tool that available that software run. I mean, there is a various way to connect, and you can directly connect using uh, CLI or in your office network, running step of data process. So this is the running steps and running is we begin the processing, step completed and running, then pending, pending. So this all process all not complete then is complete. If this is failed then it's a rerun following the represent sequence of change. If it is failed then cancel cancel okay. 
So this is the diagram. You can also go the various uh, launch uh, cluster. Okay, then run on bootstrap action and bootstrapping is successful. Yes, then process the stage running, then user add steps and then it will go to process successfully. If successfully, yes, then cluster configure wait. Uh, wait means waiting instruction to step is waiting, the user end so it will return back to the users and this is for fail process, this is for com complete process. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about architecture. I'm going uh, more detail in architecture only, the how to submit jobs and that one you can do the hands on on AWS and install <coughs> storage cluster resource management data processing framework applying so the storage layer include different file system that use with your cluster there are several different file system uh, which is the hello file system then EMR file system is a uh, EMR file system Amazon extend the uh, to ability to directly access storage Amazon S3 if you were a file system like SDF local file system also can use cluster resource management also can, uh, resource management and data processing data processing you can use MapReduce, apache spark and uh, yeah fix application and programs yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel